What is going on guys? It is your boy Ed coming at you with a WWE Supercard Super Pass Edition of WWE Supercard. If you guys like what you see, consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, show your support. Thank you guys so so much for everything. Uh tomorrow is most likely gonna be the giveaway video for the Super Pass. So if you guys are some of you who can't buy it, I will have a giveaway up tomorrow for you guys for that. So please look out for that video. I'm gifting either two or three battle passes or super passes, however you want to call it, to my lovely peeps out there. So look out for that video tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it blows up, and yeah, you guys have a good time. That video itself will probably pay for the super passes I'm going to be giving away, so make sure to watch it. That'd be great. Anyways, guys, I've been getting a lot of feedback and stuff from you guys about, you know, the Super Pass. A lot of people say they hate it because they can't afford it. And then there's a lot of people saying the grind's a little too hard. Uh, to be honest with you, the grind isn't really that bad, especially that you have 41 days to complete everything you need to. Uh, if you didn't complete all week one, you could still go back from week two to, and complete week one stuff that you didn't do. So again, this is not going to be hard whatsoever. Is this super pass worth eight to ten dollars? One hundred percent, absolutely. Because uh, let's just go through stuff. Like uh, I'm currently four hundred points in. I'm four out of six in the missions, and uh, I will g give you my best tips for you guys to complete these missions. Again, it's all about just playing the game, to be honest with you. But yeah, so. We get six challenges if you are a premium user. Six challenges every week for six weeks. And I didn't even realize the bonus tab. If you complete every week, you get a hundred of these Southpaw things that you need to buy stuff in the shop. Which means you could buy everything, literally, in the shop that's in the store. You can get all three, SummerSlam, if you're in SummerSlam tier, of course, three South Paul SummerSlam 20 cards. And if you complete all these challenges, you'll get the guaranteed fourth week in that reward tower that's all the way up here. So you will potentially get four South Paul SummerSlam 20 cards if you are in SummerSlam 20 tier, of course. You'll get three if you're not. I'm not sure if this is based on the tier. Oh, this one is. So you'll get two guaranteed if you're under the tiers. So I think for value wise this super pass is worth it 100 percent you get a thousand credits back which is almost ten dollars in value you get so much extra content tickets packs that are worth two five thousand credits in the shop is this super pass worth it absolutely it's a no-brainer if you don't buy this now i know some people probably can't because their moms won't buy it like just try to get them to buy for you try to find someone who could potentially gift it to you I, I do feel bad for people who can't afford it. You know, it is eight dollars. It isn't that expensive, or ten dollars. It's not that expensive, to be honest. So I'm actually going to show you guys how I did the battle pass, and then I'll see. So obtain the Daniel Bryan card. That is going to be completely random. It will most likely require a reset because I don't think Daniel Bryan had a beast or monster card. So you will need to get a Titan and a buff pull of Daniel Bryan. There's a lot of tiers out there. The Ozzy game, Dan O'Brien, probably isn't the hardest. So I wouldn't be worried about this. Eventually, you'll get that Dan O'Brien and go, yeah. Don't be don't be scared about the Dan O'Brien. Uh, win a game using an ambush card. Uh, you could easily get an ambush card just by getting the monster card of it. So Or I don't even know if there's a beast version. But the beast cards are harder to pull than monster cards. So monster, ambush. Put two there or one. Doesn't matter. If you put two there, you won't accidentally click the wrong support. Use two monster ambush, and then win the game. Use the right proper deck, of course, to win the game, and you should be easy. This is the hard one that people complain about. Play 80 money in the bank games. Uh, it's honestly not that bad. This might switch over. I'm, not, I'm saying might. Might switch over to win or play through 80 ring domination or money in the banks. It's potentially, but... Deep down, I don't think this is going to change. I think this is a challenge for people, so it's gonna, they're going to make it a challenge. If you guys want my advice, play every five hours Money in the Bank. Do all your bouts every five hours so you don't feel like every hour you have to do it. Remember, bouts are really slow in Money in the Bank. It's every hour. Just play every five hours, and then you should be good. Use your ads if you like. 
for Money in the Bank. I think that's what people should use their ads on instead of Royal Rumble. But yeah, that's my best advice. Uh, I'm sure all of you have Money in the Bank decks. Just use all singles from one tier, pros from one tier. You should be fine. Money in the Bank isn't a struggle. Plus, you don't even have to win this game. You could lose Money in the Bank and still get this. All it is is say play, not play and win. So you guys should be Gucci no matter what deck you use. Play a match using AJ Styles card. Uh, AJ Styles has many many cards, so if you guys have an AJ Styles card, pull it, you can get a monster version, you know, the Titans, lower your deck down with the ambush, and then make your deck, of course, go undefeated in a game of wild 200 times. That's not really difficult, it's really easy to get undefeated if you make the proper deck. If you guys want my advice, three super males, two good females will usually get the job done. Throw in one beast male, because the, the odds of four males being called are lower than getting two females. So I would recommend going with the two females over the four males all day. So please consider doing that. Uh, this is actually be the one that's gonna be the most time consuming in my opinion, which is start a fusion using SummerSlam 17 recipes. Uh, that one, I, I kind of find it like, why? Why did we get this one? <laughs> but they gave it to us, so. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. It will take you roughly five, six days unless you spend money on it. Uh, well, it could, put, it could be a little less because you usually do one. A, you can do like two a day almost unless you're up 24 hours. So it's not that bad. But yeah, it's kind of like, holy shit, bro. Like you couldn't give us like five. But either, you know, I'm, I'm kind of being nitpicky about it. But yeah, it's whatever. And then after you complete all six, you'll get the bonus. And that's pretty much put, gives you a South Paul card right there. This thing alone, because it only costs 100 in the store if you're in SummerSlam 20 tier. So, yeah, if you're in SummerSlam 20 tier, this, this right here will give you a South Paul card. Uh, SummerSlam 20, which is great. And then, of course, you got to build up and, to get the others, which is going to be, I think, 200, 250 or something like that. So, yeah, no brainer on this one. So guys, uh, we do have rewards. I didn't claim any of them because I wanted to save it for the video. See what we get. We do have some packs we'll get. So, so we get level, like, this level 3 stuff. I think we'll get uh, a chance. And then we got a support card, which I can get. I hope I'll get a manager. We'll get some tickets. A lot of tickets. I got so many damn tickets. So <laughs> hopefully they'll let me get the tickets. We got this as well. So hopefully we get something good. We're gonna claim all. Fifteen picks. Okay. Thankfully, I don't have to lose all my tickets. I have all my tickets, thank God. Becky Lynch. Yikes. So, I thought we would get both rewards, but we only get one reward, I guess. That's tough. Uh, 25 collectibles, okay. Terrible. Okay, we get the bigger ones, but we're not getting the other side. So far, these rewards have been utterly shit. <laughs> Alright, so now we're getting the left side. Okay, I was like, where are the other rewards at? <laughs> Uh, these haven't been so nice to me, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> so far, rather terrible. Rather terrible. Oof, that's tough. More and more tickets, because I need more tickets, baby. And, uh, yeah, they were all garbage. <laughs> Take the credits, though. So, yeah, we're currently done with this much. Uh, after I finish the next mission, I should be able to get my first SummerSlam 20 South Paul card, which is in the store. And then from there, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, unfortunately, very unlucky in the first few. Didn't get anything good, so it's whatever. But anyways, guys, that would do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully, you guys will take my advice on the stuff. It's not that bad. Is it worth it? 100%. If anyone tells you it's not worth it, they're freaking crazy. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for the giveaway video. I believe the giveaway will be just one day out. 
like for the super card the C pass you could be doing all the missions even though you don't have the pass you can still do all the missions so don't worry if you're like oh if you buy from me on friday you will still have progress or be done with the missions after you buy it so that's the good thing about this pass you can keep doing all the missions buy it you unlock everything pretty simple so yeah guys stay tuned for that video tomorrow thank you guys so so much for watching like comment subscribe i will see you next time take care and have a good one guys